I've always considered myself a woman. What is happening already? See, I told y'all I was gonna be juicy. You wasted my time, you're getting demoted. Oh no. We're not supposed to have feelings for somebody that's in a relationship. You're insulting my intelligence. I don't like that. Hey guys, it's your girl Ariane and I'm back. Y'all, I am back with the episode videos. Y'all love them so much, and I couldn't do y'all like that. Make sure y'all tune in every Wednesday for a new episode video. I also have a little announcement. Look at it, that's like, what, 50 carats? Oh, it's so pretty. If you did not see my engagement announcement, then that means you need to follow me on Instagram. It's right here. I'm excited, like, I haven't played with Danger in so long. Oh, guess what? I got me an iPad, so now I can see Danger in a big screen. Let's get into it, guys. They have this one called Ruin My Life. That's what I want to play. It just sounds like it's juicy, juicy, juicy. So we're going to do that one. Blake is a smoking hot bad boy millionaire and your ex. When you start working for his dad, he's determined to get you fired. Does he really hate you or does he still want you? He definitely wants Danger, okay? We haven't even started, but I know. I know he's going to want a piece of Danger. I just know it. Play. This is the main character of the story. You'll be playing as her. Her default name is Lois but you can change it if you like. I would like to change it. So what's your name? <laughs> Danger. What's my last name? Uh, let's just put us. Like, Danger Us. <laughs> That's so ugly, but let's just put O-U-S. Right, so I'm gonna customize her, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I finished Danger. I didn't do too much, because we just need to get this ball rolling. I love it. This is Blake, your smoking hot ex you still have feelings for. You want to change Blake's look. Should I guys? Okay, yeah. Be have bun. What? What? Oh my god. Ooh. Oh! White locks? Okay, no, we have to. Period. We're done. We're done with that. He's gorgeous. He got great taste. I know. It's danger. Like, wait, wait, wait. I've always considered myself a woman. What is happening already? See, I told y'all I was gonna be juicy. However, my story starts with a broken promise. This promise I gave to someone I once considered the love of my life. Dang. Wait, how do I say that? <laughs> danger. 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 Uh, whatever. Blake, you have to promise. What is going on? I think doing something nasty. You have to promise me something. Anything. <laughs> promise me this will never end. Promise me we'll be together forever. I don't know what I expected, but this definitely is not it. I promise, Blake. So what went wrong, you ask? Well, it's kind of a long story. I hope it's not too long. We ain't got all day, girl. Home sweet home. Having spent the past three years living and working abroad, I was finally back in my hometown. New York City, Chicago, Philadelphia. I feel like every book and almost every movie is based in New York City, so let's just follow the trend and do that. New York, I missed you. When I say I lived and worked abroad, I'm talking about London, England, Sydney, Australia, Auckland, New Zealand. Sydney sounds exotic, so we're gonna go with her. Sydney, Australia, I loved it there, but it doesn't compare to my native New York. As a child, I also spent a lot of time in my mom's native country. You know what, it's Canada, I don't know. But the most important thing you're going to learn about me is that I dream of owning a hotel. Everything I've ever done, I've done with this goal in mind, period. The reason I want to have my own business is because I'm obsessed with money. Power. None? Let's say power. Most people want to make a lot of money, but I couldn't care less about it. Power, however, has always been my addiction. Yeah, she's a, a dominatrix, I guess. And when you're successful, the world is your oyster. Okay, you caught me off guard at first, but now you're doing a little bit too much talking. What is this whole monologue for? After living abroad for three years, I was so excited to see my friends and family. I have a coffee day with my college best friend Brita in an hour okay but first I'm going to take my suitcase upstairs and shower they just spilled all that in one go okay Rita I still can't believe you're back in New York it feels weird seeing you face to face so are you going to get back together with Blake now say that you're open to the possibility say that you haven't considered it say that it's not going to happen I don't know why but I kind of want to be like firm on my word like I'm not getting back with my ex type of thing but then the temptation is so strong you know it just happens so say that it's not going to happen. No way. My relationship with Blake ended three years ago. Ooh, that's a long time to be still having feelings. Just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over. Besides, I highly doubt I'm going to have enough time for dating now. Oh yeah, you a both. My new job is going to be extremely demanding. I'm going to be the general manager in the luxury hotel. Shut up. You finally got your dream job? I cannot be an actress. <laughs> there is a catch though. I'm going to work for Wonderland Hotels. What does that mean? 
Blake's hotel chain? Oh my gosh, there was no other hotel you could work for. First of all, it's not Blake's. It's owned by his father. But Blake lives there. You're going to see him all the time? Tell her you don't mind saying Blake. You'll try to stay away from Blake. Tell her it doesn't matter. I'm gonna say it doesn't matter because the second choice, I want to pick that one, but then that's gonna make it seem like I don't have no self-control. Doesn't matter if he's there. My job comes first. I'm going to keep my eye on the prize. Good luck, sister. <laughs> Wait, I don't know, y'all. I think he might be a little bit better looking than Easton. Is that Blake Parker Ellington in the flesh? After all these years, there he was in the same cafe he used to take me for late night coffee dates. Why are you drinking coffee late night? There he was looking as good as I remember. He had a stone cold expression on his handsome face. I used to be able to read Blake quite well, yet I had no idea what was going through his head now. Was he happy to see me? Was he thinking that I look beautiful? Yeah, of course he was. And most importantly, did he miss me? Of course he did. It's danger. I had no idea. But one thing was for sure, the second I saw Blake, I realized just how much I missed him. Oh! girl i'm trying to get a feel for what's happening so she's thinking all this in her head and they're not actually right by each other she's just like looking at him from afar the thing i missed most about blake was that he could always put a smile on my face all the adventures him and i had the way he held and kissed me i want danger to be adventurous i'm gonna say all the adventures blake was nothing if not spontaneous he'd always push me to go on random unplanned trips that were a blast no day was dull with blake ellington i like his last name danger ellington and that was the reason I had half a mind to approach Blake and say hi to him. What? Okay, so she is dominated, period. But before I was able to muster my courage to go talk to Blake, he left the cafe. Hey, girl, how long were you staring at him? So you telling me Blake came into the cafe, ordered his order, they made his order and everything, gave it to him, and walked out the door and left before you got up and said, hey? I would say that's probably a seven minute ordeal. And you sat there, staring at him for seven minutes. Danger, that's <laughs> That's kind of weird. What am I supposed to do now? How is it even a question? Follow Blake. Get up and go after Blake now. You're not worried about him. This is going too fast. Like, we're not supposed to be worried about Blake. <laughs> Blake. I wish I had a third option. Like, what is this? I'll be right back, Rita. Blake. <laughs> He's so cute. Hello, Danger. Dang, he didn't even hesitate. Wow, I can't believe this is really you. Isn't it strange how both of us happened to come to Moonscape Coffee at the same time? Very, considering that I thought you were in Sydney up until two minutes ago. I was, but I'm back in New York now. Are you just visiting or? I think it might be permanent. I see you. I know it's been a while since the last time we spoke, but it's really great seeing you. Yeah, really great. I'm glad we ran into each other and you look well incredible so do you i love your outfit you haven't changed a bit yet somehow you look even more beautiful now okay the vibes are there why did y'all break up again hey do you want to blake <gasps> ah, he has a girlfriend or is this a wife or oh my god okay let's blake there you are baby baby oh no we're not supposed to have feelings for somebody that's in a relationship you see i should have been a different story because this girl about to be having me acting up on camera there you are baby Let's keep going. Who's the woman you're talking to? Girl, <laughs> she's just an old friend. You might want to say next, okay? Are you ready to go? Did you get our drinks? Why am I not getting introduced? She's just an old friend? I'm your ex, and my name is Danger. They didn't have any chai tea lattes. We'll try another coffee shop. I'll see you around, Danger. So he has a new girlfriend? Of course he does. It has been three years, though. I mean, like, what can you expect? You're sad Blake has moved on. You want to fight that girl. You hope Blake doesn't love her as much as he loved you. Let's do the third one. Because it's not that I hope that. I know that. I know he doesn't love her like he loved. Danger. I just hope her and Blake don't have what him and I did. I hope I'm still his one true love. Why the sad face, babe? I just met Blake's new girlfriend. Honey, Blake doesn't have a girlfriend. If you'd like, I can tell you a bit more about Blake's love life. Oh, he didn't actually say that she was his girlfriend, he just said baby. So what are they, like a situationship or something? Okay, tell me more. The father of my unborn baby is still best friends with Blake, so I hear things. Okay, yeah, she's pregnant. Calculating your Blake point. Wait, what? Your Blake points aren't high enough to learn more about Blake's life? What is this episode? Like, what is this y'all incorporate? I'm sorry, but I don't want to spend another minute talking about Blake. How do I get Blake points? I'm so tired of hearing his name. Girl, you was just thinking about him for seven minutes, so obviously, I understand 
understand, sweetie. It must be quite painful. I want to know, but I feel like I have an idea. Like, I think they're just, you know, F buddies. It was great seeing you, Rita, but I need to go now. I'm starting my new job on Monday, and there are still quite a few things I need to do before then. I hope we can hang out again soon. Good luck with your job. Thank you. And bye, Rita. It's time to get ready for your first day at work. You have two premium business wardrobes to choose from. Awesome. Let's see them. The first wardrobe is called the Strictly Business Wardrobe. Okay, period. The second wardrobe is called the Feisty Business Wardrobe. I love the spicy business. If you buy a premium wardrobe, you'll get extra job and Blake points and have something cute to wear in the next few episodes. Wear an old outfit and have everyone judge you. Okay, episode y'all need to stop. Y'all doing a little bit too much. I'm not spending 20 dollars on that. Are you sure you want it to be your main outfit for the next few chapters? I mean, that is ugly. It don't even look like she going to work. Y'all, they said I'll stick with the grandma outfit. <laughs> Should I get diamonds? Ugh, that's definitely a smart choice. Okay, come on. And let's get the feisty business. $4.99 for 60 diamonds. Enjoy your new fabulous wardrobe. Okay. I don't want to wear that right now. Wait. So, I can enjoy my fabulous wardrobe, but you picked an outfit out of the four. I didn't want this one. Okay, I want my money back. What? Let me regroup. <laughs> That was when Blake brought me here. I still remember that day. You unlocked the flashback because you purchased a premium wardrobe. So this is the place I'm going to own one day. Isn't it dope? It's pretty dope. But I wish you told me where we were going so I could have worn something more presentable. I feel so underdressed in this fancy hotel. Danger. You're the most beautiful girl in every room, no matter what you're wearing. Thank you. I almost called him Easton. <laughs> Thank you, Blake. And I love these jeans on you. You're just trying to get me out of them. Ooh, always. Ooh, would you like to see the terrace next? This way. You were right, this hotel is something else. Being able to stay here whenever you please must be really nice. Are you excited to take over your father's business? Excited is probably an overstatement. I feel like you enjoy it way more than me. You'll be better at it too. You don't give yourself enough credit, Blake. I'm sure you'll do great when the time comes. I will, with you by my side. I wonder why they broke up. Like, was it because he was cheating or what happened? Now tell me, Danger. Are you excited to own half of the Wonderland Hotels chain? You mean, if we ever get married? Not ever. I'm going to marry you. Whoa, so what happened? And who knows? Maybe I'll even marry you in this hotel. Good old times. I used to be so happy with Blake. Our relationship was actually perfect. I guess it wasn't. But I'm not getting paid to reminisce about the past. I go better find Tony. Good morning, ma'am, and welcome to Wonderland Hotels. How can I help you? I'm a new employee, and I was wondering if you could tell me where Tony Ellington is. And it's nice of you because of what you're wearing. Oh, you mean the outfit I didn't get to pick? Mm. Oh, you must be the new general manager. We've been expecting you, ma'am. I am indeed. It's a pleasure to meet you. We've been told you're going to be the best thing that's ever happened to this hotel. Of course. It's danger. I'll try my best. Can I just say I absolutely love your outfit. Is that Euphoria? I don't know. <laughs> it's my favorite brand. You can never go wrong with a pirata. You're such an icon, and I can't wait to work with you. Girl, you is glazing. You want that raise. That's what you want. As much as I appreciate your kind words, I still like to speak to Tony Ellington, please. Yes, cause you're doing a little bit too much talking. I'm afraid Tony is currently unavailable. Um, you couldn't say that? You wasted my time, you're getting demoted. But I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have and show you around. Oh, is this the other love interest? Harlan Ellington to your service. Okay, um, never mind. it's just Blake's uncle. <laughs> Before we begin our tour, can I just say you look lovely? Uh, thank you. I'm not trying to weird you out, but you are. But as a general manager, you're the face of this hotel. I wonder why Blake's dad chose his ex to be the manager of this hotel. Anyway, shall we? We shall. This is going to be our office. Okay. Mm, it needs a little sprucing up. I don't need to start complaining on my first day, but is this really my office? It's in the basement. Oh, now they put black people in the basement. Mm. You're right. This office is hardly fit for the general manager. I have no idea what Tony was thinking. Me either. Luckily, there's one more office available. Watch it be right next to like Blake's or something. How about now? <laughs> it's okay. Not really my style. Like that bookcase looks a little old, but 
we can work with it. This is much better. So which office are you going to take? It's a no-brainer to me, but the decision is yours. I feel like Harlan is going to respect me way more if I decide to keep this nice office. If you choose this office, you'll get extra job points. I have 31 diamonds. Keep the nice office for the rest of the story and share a special- Okay, y'all doing a little bit too much. I'll do the nice office though. You're right, it is a no-brainer. I'm most definitely keeping this office. I'm glad you are. I feel so bad for you if you're stuck in that smelly, horrible office. Why would that even be an option? Why would you give a general manager of a hotel an office in the basement. Let's be real. Since today is your first day here, all I need you to do is make yourself familiar with the surroundings, as well as read up on the hotel and some of our high profile guests. And one more thing. I'm aware of your past with Blake, but I trust you'll keep things professional. You don't have to tell me anything. Like, I'm not some boy crazed girl. Like, stop. Is he asking whether I can be mature around Blake? Yeah, you're insulting my intelligence. I don't like that. Tell him professional is your middle name. Tell him you won't let anything come between you and this job. Tell him it depends on Blake. Uh, it doesn't depend on Blake because I'm professional. I have self-control. Let's do number two. I can assure you, sir, I'm not going to let anything come between me and this job. Not even Blake. I've worked too hard for it to let something so insignificant sabotage it. Yes, that's good to hear. Find me if you need anything. So that's what Harlan Ellington is like. So you're telling me you dated Blake for that long and then meet his uncle? Yeah. Him and Blake aren't close, so I've never met him before. Okay, see, this is why I just need to stop jumping to conclusions. I do that a lot and I look crazy now. Okay. He seems nice enough. Something about him is off. He's actually quite good looking. I'm gonna say something about him is off because something is off about him. I think he likes danger because he was staring a little bit too hard. So he rubs me the wrong way. I know. However, he's still my boss. So I need to get along with him and make him like me. Anyway, I have quite a few files to study, so I better get started. I've been here for what feels like forever. I need to take a break before my head explodes. It might be a good time for me to go for a walk and familiarize myself with the surroundings. I thought you did that already. <laughs> So this is a lobby bar. It's not what I was looking for, but since I'm here, I might as well have a drink. Uh, Virgin, of course. Hi there, my name is Danger. I forgot we picked this last name. I was like, my name is Danger Us. <laughs> Whoa, she's tall. Nice to meet you, Miss Oss. I'm Jen Martinez. I'm a bartender. Great meeting you too, Jen. Would you mind making me espresso? Well, a double espresso, actually no sugar. Coming right up. Oh, Blake is here looking like a bad boy. He don't look professional at all. So, we meet again. Hi, Blake. It almost feels like you're stalking me. Boy, you stalking me. But she was a little bit weird at the coffee shop, but you know. You wish, you're being silly. Maybe you are stalking me. You're stalking me. Your little theory would have more leg to stand on if this conversation wasn't happening at the place where I live. Speaking of which, do you want to tell me what you're doing at my hotel? Your hotel? This is your dad's? Okay, sir, let's back it up. This is not yours yet. Tell him you're having a drink. Tell him it's not his hotel, but his father's. <laughs> The stuff that keeps coming up, I just know what to say already. Second one, I don't mean to nitpick, but it's not technically your hotel. At least not yet. You just always have to be right, don't you? Yeah? Blake, I'm sorry. I promise I wasn't trying to be rude. He was rude! Shoot, I work here now. I'm the new general manager. Blake, are you gonna say something? I guess not. Not that it's any of my business, but I take it you and Blake know each other. Well, you were right about the first part. Not that it's any of your business, okay? <laughs> so no conversation needs to be had. You could say that. Blake and I dated for a year and a half in college. Were you too serious? Yes, we were. He was my one true love. I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with him. Our relationship was pretty much perfect. Uh, I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with him. Sadly, it didn't work out. I put my career first and left Blake behind. Oh, so she's the culprit. She left him. It's fine, it was my choice and I have to live with it now. Oh, you know, if you ever want to talk about it some more, I'm happy to lend an ear. What happened? in the bar stays in the bar girl <laughs> thank you jen i really appreciate it it looks like you've just made a friend okay jen jen's gonna be my friend and please call me danger danger it is later what is it over there what is that it's a dead body join me for dinner tonight at seven at the hotel restaurant i'd appreciate it if you wore one of these dresses i have had bought for you okay who is this how strange i could swear i locked my office on my way out whoever sent me this must have had a spare key so it's either blake or the uncle i forgot his name could this be from blake 
He totally wants to talk about us. He wants to apologize for leaving without saying anything earlier. He wants to spend some time with me. Let's do the second one, because I don't want to jump to conclusions. He might not want to, like, talk about us, you know? He moved on. He probably wants to apologize for how he acted earlier. Blake might be a jerk, but he's never a jerk to me. It's nearly half past six, so I should start getting ready. If you wear one of the premium outfits, you get both an additional Blake and job point, as well as impress someone important. Do I have to spend diamonds for as a bonus? You'll be able to access a special hair library with 35 plus unique hairstyles. View my options. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to pay for this, but obviously this dress is fire. Choose this. Oh, I don't have to pay. Wait, see, bro, there is no way y'all about to make me spend five dollars on one episode. It's getting out of hand. I'm not wearing this. Wear ridiculous outfit to dinner with. And then the options like, why can't I just keep on what I just had? Oh my, they're doing me dirty. What is this outfit? Are you sure you'd rather not dress up? You only have so many chances to impress Blake and others. I'll wear an ugly outfit. Okay. Mm -hmm. These outfits are gorgeous, but I feel weird wearing a dress that I don't know where it came from. Well, you gonna have to wear it, and you gonna smile in it. It's weird, Blake is in here. The only person who is here is his dad. They are so wrong for this. Ah, oh, danger, perfect timing. Okay, good. I'm not trying to impress his dad, or maybe I am. You're the one who sent me that note? Of course it was me. Now imagine, imagine if I wore and bought that white dress just so his dad could be there. Please, take a seat. Tony's disappointed because you didn't dress up well be disappointed boy like what i see you decided not to wear any of the dresses i sent you no that's a real shame my assistant spent an hour buying them well if you bought them i should have got it for free i shouldn't have to buy it okay besides they would be way more appropriate for the occasion i'm sorry what occasion just when i stopped hoping he would be here you're happy you'll be having dinner with blake you think blake looks particularly handsome tonight you're wondering what the reunion dinner will be like uh three i'm supposed to be mysterious like i can't mm -mm. me my ex and his dad are a bit of a weird mix of people. Yeah, I wonder what Tony has planned for this dinner. I really hope it doesn't turn out to be too awkward. You're late, Blake. You should be grateful I even decided to show up. Dang, why are you talking to him like that? I have a million better things to do than have dinner with my father and my ex. And that makes sense. For the love of God, just sit down. Isn't it nice that three of us having dinner together? It's just like good old times. Yeah, I don't know. You've literally had dinner with us like two times. Stop playing. It was still nice. And you were on your phone the whole time. What? He was on his phone. That's that's a little backwards. Blake is roasting Tony ruthlessly. You can't help but laugh. You agree with everything Blake is saying. You think Blake should... Uh, he should definitely tone it down. You're talking to your father. Like, you're doing a little bit too much. I don't think such unimportant details from the past matter much. They don't. After all, it happened ages ago. Thank you, Danger. I completely agree with you. You know, I, I'm trying to keep my job. I gotta take up for him, you know? Of course you do. Come on, Dad. Tell us the real reason we're here let's get this charade over with what's the real reason since my only son can't tolerate spending more than half an hour in my presence i'll get down to business let's get down to business i'm not sure if you've heard it yet blake but danger is going to work in this hotel starting today since you two will be seeing each other a lot i really appreciate it if you could be civil with each other i can do that like it's not nothing hard for me and when i say i'd appreciate it i'm merely being polite it's not a request you have to find a way to coexist together it's easy for me i don't care about blake fine by me i don't have a problem with danger period neither do i i'm happy to get along with blake if he is i get along with everyone i'm a friendly guy great i'm glad we are all on the same page after the dinner this is a long episode what is going on? Why are you touching me like that, Blake? What are you doing? You startled me. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, it's over? Okay, why do they leave on cliffhangers like that? That What's Blake going to tell you? Keep reading to find out. Good little story, girl, but um, it's a lot going on with the money. I'm gonna need y'all to stop or give me a discount or something. That was the end of the episode. Isn't Blake so cute? Blake is hotter than Easton. Dang. Yes, this is an animation. Stop judging me, okay? I cannot wait for the drama with the girl he's with right now and Danger. Like a little tussle, you know? I'm ready for it. I'm glad y'all stopped by. If you like this video and you want to see an episode every Wednesday, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell right next to that. I love y'all so much and bye. Mwah.